Hello, my name is Clint Halstead. I'm the Department Coordinator for Electronics Engineering Technology at Mitchell Community College. My contact information is 701 West Front Street, Statesville, 704-878-3315. I'm in the Technology and Workforce Development Building on the second floor in room 211. Our associates program consists of three main tiers, research and development tier, manufacturing, and fundamentals. R&D component consists of design analysis, troubleshooting, and test. We offer analog courses, digital, CAD courses, and a communication systems class. In manufacturing we have automation and control tier or portion and we have assembly inspection and quality portion. Under automation we have motor controls, PLCs, advanced PLCs, electrical maintenance. Under assembly inspection and quality, we have fabrication techniques, which includes J standard 001E. For the fundamentals, we have math, science, and soft skills, which include algebra, physics, English, communications, and co-op. Our certificates at Mitchell Community College in the Electronics Engineering Technology Department consist of three main tiers, research and development, manufacturing, automation and control, and manufacturing, assembly, inspection, and quality. Under research and development, we have embedded microprocessors design certificate and analog electronic certificate. In manufacturing, automation, and control, we have mechatronic certificate and electrical maintenance certificate. And in manufacturing, assembly, inspection, and quality, we have our fabrications technique course, which includes J standard 001E, certification and we also offer specialized IPC training certificates for companies who want specialized training. For more information about the associate's degree program, the diploma or the certificates, go to the Mitchell website, click future students, academic programs and then electronics engineering technology. For more information on J standard 001 we have these slides that are prepared and we have a website you can go to at the end of these slides but basically the IPC J standard 001 is the requirements for soldered electrical and electronic assembly training and certification program it has emerged as the preeminent authority for electronics assembly and manufacturing worldwide and it includes materials methods and verification criteria for producing high quality soldered leaded and lead lead free interconnections it emphasizes process control and establishes industry consensus requirements for a broad range of electronic connections. The modules are broken into four different, five, actually five different types of modules. It includes general requirements, wires and terminals, through-hole technology, surface mount, general soldered connections, and te test methods, statistical processes, and inspection skills. These are just examples out of the different modules. For example, module two, you have saw, you have terminals, module three, through hole, module four, surface mount, and then module five, inspection skills. The overview and schedule for this is you can see five different modules. Module one is the only required module. It includes some lecture time and some uh, exam time. Modules 2, 3, and 4, and 5 include lecture and lab hands-on time. Now, Module 1, again, is the only required module, and then you can skip any module you want and go ahead and take if you wanted to take surface mount along with Module 1, that's perfectly okay. Or if you wanted to take Module 1 and then skip to 5, that's okay as well. As long as you have Module 1 and pass that module with 70% or better, then you can go on to any of the other modules to meet your company's needs. These are the equipment needed for the instructor station and for the lab area, and that's what Mitchell offers. All this equipment and the cost associated with that is included in, in the program costs. The required student supplies is a copy of the J standard for each student, $90, and a workmanship kit of $30, which contains everything that you see on the screen in the picture. The J standard is to the left. This is a block diagram of the IPC it has many standards and you can see that they have a full line of standards including the J standard 001 which is kind of in the middle but they have acceptability for printed circuit boards 
They also have acceptability for electronic assemblies and many standards that support that. Now they also offer certifications that are not specific to the standards which are um, subjects like ESD, lead free soldering, component ID and again um, these are more cost effective the grade of 70% or better and, you, and there's no expiration or no date whereas for the J standard and, and the other certifications that are linked specifically to a standard those um, expire after two years whereas the training certifications are not uh, they, they don't expire and they, they're, they do not have to be renewed they do demonstrate mastery of the specific theory of knowledge and are evidence of competency for ISO training requirements but they do not assure proficiency in the physical skills so if you really want to show physical skills and create products to the requirement of the IPC specifications then you would need the J standard 001 or the IPC 60, 610 or 620 and again this is the website ipctraining.org you can go to and look at all the different electronics assembly, circuit board fabrication uh, for their training certificates. And thank you very much. Again, my name is Clint Halstead, and I look forward to speaking with you. Thanks.